Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Gigapixel AI by Topaz Labs. Recently, I did a video on Sharpen AI by Topaz Labs, and if you saw that video, you know that I was rather underwhelmed with Sharpen AI. Well, as much as I was underwhelmed with Sharpen AI, I am overwhelmed with Gigapixel AI. Gigapixel AI is awesome, and it does a great job. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly does Gigapixel AI do? Well, let me explain. Often, when we're out shooting, uh, we'll come across something like this. You take an image like this, and this I took several years ago with the Fujifilm X-T1, which I believe is a 16.3 megapixel camera. I took this shot. It's an okay shot of this chickadee, but, you know, I wish I was in tighter. I didn't have a lens long enough to really capture this the way I wanted to capture it. Well, it's an okay shot. But what we'll often do is we'll just crop the heck out of it. So I crop that 16.3 megapixels down to this, and this is around 1.2 megapixels. It's fine if I want to share it online, but where the megapixels really count is when you want to print the image. So now this 1.2 megapixel image, if I want to print it, and I went online and I just searched for a print chart. And you can see right here, 1.2 megapixels. Uh, the best I could do at 300 pixels per inch is around a 4.2 inch by 3.2 inch print. So it's a really small print. Anything bigger than that, and it just won't look right. Now you could take this image into Photoshop and just export it at a larger size, but it really won't work because what you're doing is you're just enlarging the pixels. So you're enlarging the noise, you're enlarging the artifacts, you're enlarging the blur it just won't look right so you really can't uh, print this as it is any bigger than what this chart suggests uh, that is 4.2 inches by 3.2 inches well that's where gigapixel ai comes in not only does gigapixel ai upscale the image and like produce new pixels to um, give you a more megapixel dense image but what it does, and where I think sets it apart from other applications that upscale images, is it improves the quality of the pixels. It sharpens the image. It gets rid of noise. It gets rid of artifacts. It is unreal what it does. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, we're going to take this cropped ver uh, version of the chickadee, and we're going to enlarge it. I also have an iPhone image here. We're also shooting, we're often shooting with our smartphones. And most smartphones, I mean, some high-end smartphones, you know, you get a lot of megapixels. But most smartphones, you're not getting that many. And you may want to upscale those as well. So I have an iPhone image as well. Now, um, Gigapixel AI is a bulk editor. So you could drop in a bunch of images. And you could process basically one of them and have that processing applied to all of them. And then do an, a, bulk, a bulk export. That will save you a lot of time. Or you could just, as I'm doing here, uh, bring both images into Gigapixel AI and then just process them individually. Now, when you drop them in by default, both of them will be checked down here at the bottom. Or if you drop more than one or more than two, as many as you have will be listed here at the bottom and they'll all be checked. So any uh, scaling and noise reduction and all that stuff I do to one will be done to all of them. Now, I don't want to uh, do the iPhone image right away, so I'm going to uncheck that. So we're just going to do the chickadee. And if you look over on the right-hand side, we have auto update preview on. So whenever I move it or go to a different scale, it's going to update this preview on the right. Now, I'm doing this video on my MacBook Pro, which is pretty new and super fast. I did the Sharpen AI video on my iMac, which is really old and just, you could, you know, you'll see the difference of how much uh, better uh, this performs on a faster computer compared to that Sharpen AI uh, version. Now, as it is now, as you look at it, I'm not sure you could see much of a difference. I could see a slight difference. The preview does look better than the original image and we're at 2X. 2x is going to produce a 1,898 pixel by 2,848 pixel image from my original 949 by 1424. So it's basically taking this 1.2, 1.3 megapixel image 
and it's making around 5.4 megs of megapixels with it. Now I want to just move over here in the navigator window on the right. I just want to move the uh, point of interest over here to the edge so we could see the edge feathers. And this is where you'll really see the difference. Over here on the left with the original image, you can see there's noise. Hopefully you can see that noise in the background. And you can see that the feather detail is distinct. But if we go over here on the right with the preview of the gigapixel image, it is much more well-defined and the noise is reduced. So it not only enlarges the image, it improves the quality of the image as well. Now I have it at 2x, you could go, you know, through these buttons, 4x, 6x. So we'll do 6x real quick and I'll move this over here. Get that edge detail. And you could see, I think better here, the noise on this side and how the noise is reduced. And you can see how, you could even see right here the individual pixels. You see those individual pixels, little squares? And you can see how they're eliminated over here. They're smoothed out. So it really does a tremendous job uh, with the enlarging of the image. Now you could go bigger than 6x. You could go this little uh, button right here, and you could type in a value from 0.2 to 22 right here. You also, uh, if you don't want to use scale at all, you could go to width, and you could give it a pixel width. Click on that little uh, button. You could go to inches and centimeters as well if you're like doing, a, let's say, an 8 by 10, and you know that the width is going to be 8 inches. You could go there to inches and type in 8 there, or height if you prefer, same thing pixels, inches, centimeters. So you could do that if you prefer over using the scale. Now, you noticed when I just loaded it in there, it automatically did something. That's partly because I have auto update preview on, but that is also don't, down here at the bottom, I have the mode set to auto. So it, it's just doing auto settings. If I want to do manual settings, click on this button here and you can see there's two sliders, suppress noise and remove blur. And the auto settings are those settings that it gave me. Now, if I want to remove blur even more, I can move that. Let's say just max that out. And it didn't really do much of a difference in my opinion. Um, suppress noise. If there was a lot more noise over here, I could come over here and like max that out or move it up at least. You can see it did actually smooth it out. So we could, you know, move these sliders as needed uh, to our specific in image manually or just click on auto and let it do it for you. Now, in between that, I have the face refinement, or we have face refinement here. And of course, I have it on because there's not a person in the image. But if there are people in your image, turn that on because it will uh, help. It will recognize where the faces are and it will use algorithms that will um, make sure that it doesn't make the faces look plasticky or fake or anything like that. So uh, if you have people in your image, make sure it's clicked to on. So I think you could see. Um, really just with this chickadee image, what a tremendous job it does. And I really, really was impressed. Now, as far as the iPhone image, uh, let's click on that. Now we're at 2x and, um, you know, you could see it doesn't look like much. But let me zoom in on the preview window. Uh, we're at 100% now. So let's just zoom in to 400%. Now look over here on the left. Hopefully you could see it in the video. There's um, some artifacts some pixelation, there's some chromatic aberration. Over here, it's cleaned up considerably, much, much better. Let's go jump way up to 6x. Now look over here, look at all the pixelation, artifacts. Look at, it's pretty much cleaned up over here. I really, I'm so impressed with this software. Um, I really am like blown away at what a great job it does. So. Overall, you know, I've been doing these videos on the Topaz Labs product. I started out with Denoise AI. Now, I've been using Denoise for years, and I've always said, and I've done videos in the past, that it's the best noise reduction software made, and Denoise AI is even better. It's the best noise reduction software, in my opinion, made. Then I did a video on the JPEG to RAW converter. And it's okay for what it does. It's not something that I would use or many people would use, but it will convert a JPEG to a RAW file. It does some minor sharpening and refinement. It's not a tremendous difference. It's difficult to see any improvement, but it will take a JPEG and make a RAW file out of it. Um, so it's okay. Then I did Sharpen AI, 
And I just couldn't get good results consistently with it. Um, a lot of people in the comment section of that video respectfully disagreed with me and they explained how they're using it and how great it's working for them. And I'm really happy for them that it's working well for them. And I'm going to keep working with it and see if I could figure out what I'm doing wrong or what I need to do to get better results using it. So I wasn't like that impressed with Sharpen AI. But again, that could be me, uh, but we'll see. I'm going to keep working with it. But Gigapixel AI, I hold up there in high regard like I do Denoise AI. I think it's really great. Um, so check it out. They have on all this software, they have uh, free trials. So you could download it, give it a try for free. Um, I'll have links in the description below this video. I also have a discount code. Um, the discount code is for 15% off. So if you do decide to purchase anything from Topaz Labs, use my discount code and save some money. That's it. This is Gigapixel AI. It really surprised me. Uh, I really wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.